Circle and Hammersmith and City lines. There are also minor delays on the Jubilee line northbound. On the train, southeastern services between Ebbsfleet and Stratford are running with 15 minute delays. That's because of overrunning engineering works. And out on the road, this is the M25 anti-clockwise. There's been a lane close between Junction 25 for the A10 and Junction 24 for Potter's Bar. It's all because of a broken down lorry, very slow around there as you can see. And coming into town, traffic's queuing on Marylebone flyover eastbound. That's all the way from the Westway. Now let's take a look at the weather with Kate Kinsella. Good morning. It's another cold start this morning and a day, a fairly dramatic April shower. It's fairly similar to yesterday. Now, there is a bit of frost around for some this morning, especially to the west of London. That's going to be followed by sunshine and showers. A bright start for many of us, if a bit cold. Those showers arriving a bit quicker through the course of the morning. Some heavy ones, maybe a bit of sleet over higher ground. Hail and thunder elsewhere. The maximum temperature range between 9 and 11 Celsius. So, again, it is going to feel quite cold. Now, those showers gradually dying away overnight. Clear skies temperature drops again down into low single figures if not below so again we're expecting a frost by dawn tomorrow morning now the cloud will start to roll in after a bright start on Thursday bringing with it some outbreaks of rain as we head through Thursday afternoon some slightly more mild air temperatures up at around 11 or 12 Celsius now that warm front continues to push through overnight on Thursday that mild air continues to move in it's only slightly more mild so a bit of a temperature change as we head into to Friday, just a slight rise. Still going to see quite a bit of cloud around as we head towards the end of the week, but the temperature recovering to a certain extent as we head into Saturday and to Sunday. Fairly unsettled weekends, looking drier for Saturday with a potential for some rain for Sunday. I'm back with the latest from the BBC London newsroom in half an hour's time. Until then, plenty more on our website. Now back to Dan and Louise. Bye bye.